All right, so as always, laying everything out in front of me to take a look at this carbon fiber intake. What? It looks so good. Check this out. All right, so old one is out. First thing that is incredibly obvious, the weight difference between these two is insane. Like this weighs absolutely nothing. This weighs a lot. It's so, it's so light. It's so incredibly light. So we got the old one out. I'm gonna throw the new one in. So do you see this little groove point around here? That slides directly into this edge right here. And I love that design because it makes it such a solid one piece product when you actually have it in. And that's what makes it feel so like rigid and like stiff, which is awesome. All right, so before we slide this into the actual air box, we want to put the cone on. And when you do this, Brian brought up a really good point in his video. You always want to keep this top screw, this little guy right there. You always want to keep that accessible. So when it comes time to change this, it's not a difficult location to get at. And the other thing that needs to be mentioned is this is all carbon fiber. So you do not want to over tighten anything or you will crack the carbon fiber. But now we can go ahead and put this guy in here. And the way to do it is kind of twist it like this, line up the edge, slowly work it in. So I'm just kind of like working it side by side, like each side, I just go in a little bit it's a really tight fit, but that's good. That's what you want. You want it to be a tight fit because like I said before, you don't want it to move around. So there we go, one piece. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and throw in our mass airflow sensor. So the good thing about this is it can only go in one way, so you can't really like screw it up. So if you look at the holes for the mass airflow sensor, that's obviously the correct way because both holes line up. If you were to do it the wrong way, they don't line up. Make sure that you use the actual screws that were supplied with the intake. You don't want to use the stock ones because they are, they will strip the inside and you don't want to use that. So we're looking good. Got the uh, sensor in, cone in, and then we're just gonna throw in the car. You make sure you don't want to put that on before you do this part because you need to access everything. Um, mass airflow sensor is plugged in. Obviously intake is in. There is one thing I want to show you guys. There's this plastic duct that comes out of this side. And if you look on the sides of those ducts, there's those little hooks right there. So the sides of that little flange, the carbon part that comes off the intake, you're going to be hooking it around those. And there's going to be two on each side. So you just want to make sure that you hook that around it. Now the only difficult part is accessing that bolt right there. So you have to get pretty crafty about getting in there and actually tightening it. Again, that's on carbon fiber, so you don't want to overdo it. All right, so I guess the last little part is to throw in these three rubber grommets. I'm gonna put them on there. One of them goes on there, one goes in here, and one goes over there. So another interesting fact about the MST is it doesn't span the whole width, and so you have nothing hanging on right here. I like that this Intake is manufactured around kind of an OEM design. So there are a few ways to do the rubber grommet portion of this install. This far one right here, I like to keep this rubber grommet on the actual car. And then the other two, I actually put on the carbon piece and then put it in. I love it. I absolutely love this intake. It is so firm and so rigid. And I love how it takes up more space now. It looks so much better. It looks so much better than the MST.
But as always guys, I appreciate you so much. Thank you for watching this video. Please do subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Comment down below, like this video, hit that bell notification. Just like that, this video is over and I'm out. Peace.